to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, light worker, and Reiki healer. Today's tarot reading is all about incoming blessings. So blessings you can expect over the next few months. For those of you that are in a hurry, here's pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. You can use the timestamps in the comments and description, and I'll see you in your reading. Now, for anyone who'd like a little bit of assistance honing in with their intuition, I'll lead a short breathing exercise. Let's begin by closing your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your angels which message is for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now a number between one and five or one of the crystals may pop into your mind. If it does, select that pile. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now when you're ready, Open your eyes and select the pile that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. For reminders, we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. All right, you can use the timestamps in the comments and description, and I'll see you in your reading to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number one with this blue lace agate. All right, let's take a look at your power of love activations first. You start with the power of love activation of expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. So that's a beautiful message. Now, Let's take a look at your tarot and see what blessings you have coming. All right, some of you are getting ready to travel with the Three of Wands. Some of you are committing in a soulmate relationship. There's a new beginning and balance. This is beautiful. So your Three of Wands represents travel. It represents good news. Um, and this is in your you know, immediate future position. The, the time frames kind of go over the next couple of months, but you have the lovers coming out. So many of you are already in committed relationships and this is taking it to the next level. For some of you, this is meeting your soulmate. Now for the Palace of Wands, this is a card that really embodies the wand energy as a place to reside. And so this is full of creative passions and, you know, a real passionate energy that you're going to really step into. And then you have a new beginning with the Ace of Swords. This new beginning is something that you have the strength for. It's going to, it's going to really be something that you use a lot of your capabilities for but it's going to be a beautiful beginning and then you have justice coming out which is all about balance now from the angels you get archangel chamuel so archangel chamuel is the archangel of love 
and happiness. All right, so the Archangels are promising you happiness and letting you know that Archangel Chamuel is looking out for you and bringing love into your life. Now, from the Spirit Guides, you get accept struggles as lessons and know your truth. And then finally, from Moonology, you get a win-win outcome as forecast and a personal issue reaches resolution. So this is a beautiful reading about the blessings that you have coming in for the next few months. Some of you will travel, but all of you will receive good news in the relatively immediate future. Then many of you are in this lover's card with the soulmate relationship. Pretty much all of you are in this Palace of Wands card where you're going to step into this beautiful, creative, passionate energy. The Ace of Swords is your new beginning that you're absolutely strong enough for. And then justice can either be a legal case going your way if you're already involved in a legal case, or it's balance, you coming into balance. Your angels bring happiness. While you have struggles still, you need to learn to accept them as lessons. Know your truth. And then Moonology says a win-win forecast, a win-win outcome is forecast. So for these lovers, for those of you going into this relationship, this is going to be a win-win. And as your creativity comes out, it brings a personal issue to resolution. So that is beautiful. That's all I have for pile number one with the blue lace agate. For those of you interested in private readings, I can be reached at the email address in the comments and description, and I'll send you all the details on how to get a private reading. For everyone here, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number two with this green adventuring. All right. Let's start with your power of love activation. You get loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. So many of you are very, very loyal people and loyalty is one of your strengths is what the power of love activation is saying. Now for your blessings, you start with the nine of wands, then the three of cups, the King of Coins, beautiful. The Queen of Cups and the Page of Coins. Okay, so you start in the Nine of Wands where you're taking a kind of strong position somewhere. And it may be linked to this loyalty card right here. But just try not to make this strong position that you have somewhere in your life be one of those types of things where you lose something or have to sacrifice something for that position. Now, in your immediate future, you've got the Three of Cups, which is about fun and socializing and good times and celebrations. It can even represent uh, pregnancy and birth. So for some of you, that's out there in your future if, if you're trying. Now, next you get the King of Coins. This can represent you or someone else, but it's a really loving, generous energy. So financially, you're going to be becoming stable if you're not already. And if you're already financially stable, you're going to have the money to share with others. Now, the Queen of Cups can also embody you. Really, any of the court cards can embody you or someone in your life. But the Queen of Cups is all about emotional intelligence and maturity and really being able to make decisions out of your emotions that are still good decisions. And then the Page of Coins is all about financial opportunity coming in. So you've got financial opportunities coming. This generally is a couple of months when you get to the end. So, but there are financial opportunities that are gonna knock on your door. Now, from the angels, you get be free and friendship. So you're being told by the angels that uh, possibly a friend is going to bring you this opportunity right here. But also you're being told to be your own friend. And then be free. That is, you, you're going to want to be free of this nine of wands. You know, you're being asked by the spirit guides to make each day count 
and you're being told not to relinquish your power on that Queen of Cups. So you have the, the emotional intelligence to make the decisions that are emotional for you. But don't relinquish your power when you're doing that. Out of Moonology, you get you're very close to achieving your goal. And look at the bigger picture. All right. So, yeah, you're very cho close to achieving your goal. That's celebrations that, that it's coming out on. So, really, you are coming into this beautiful celebratory energy. Now, as you step into the financial abundance that, the, that this represents, you're being asked to look at the bigger picture. So, this may be using some of this money that you receive or some of your financial stability to kind of help out others that are in need. But somewhere you need to look at the bigger picture and see what you can do to help another to be of service. All right, that's all I have for pile number two with the Green Adventuring. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you that are interested in a private reading, I can be reached at the email address in the comments and description, and I'll send you on all the info on getting a private reading. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number three with this cube of lapis lazuli. Let's start today's reading with power of love activation. You start with satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. So that is encouragement to not let anyone define you, to approve of yourself and know that that's, that's what you need. You need approval from inside you, not from outside. Now, for your blessings, you start with the hermit. And the five of coins and the star temperance and the three of wands all right so you guys have been kind of going through something you've got the hermit which is about alone time but it can be productive alone time then you have the five of coins which can be fear of loneliness it can be fear of poverty it's definitely fear of some kind the star is coming out immediately afterwards to heal this fear so while there will be some fear in your future and you should just accept it as a life lesson, it's going to be healed by the star straight away. And that is an absolute blessing. Now temperance is coming in, bringing you balance. Balance is essential to all of our lives. So, and this is the, this is major balance. This is not, you know, a, a minor balance where for a few minutes you feel like you're kind of in touch with your spirit. This is being in actual balance balance. She's balancing fire and water with a rainbow. That's balance. You know, that is, that is divine balance really. And you're, you're being affected by divine balance, which is wonderful. Now, you get the Four of Wands as your final position. So this is a couple months out, but this is doors opening for you. This is new beginnings and doors opening and opportunities knocking for you. Now, out of the Angel Inspiration deck with the Hermit, you get Withdraw. So with this alone time that you're getting, withdraw and kind of look inside yourself. Search inside your heart and soul. Now... You also get Seek Enlightenment on the new opportunities. So when you come to these new opportunities, you need to really take a minute and see what your gut says, see what your heart says, you know, what does your mind say, what does the divine say, you know, ask your spirit guides, really examine them, but then take the leap into the opportunity. Now, with the fear, you're getting understand your body. And with the balance, you're getting live your bliss. And then finally, for moonology, you get conclusions are within reach and be bold and make the first move. So this understand your body clarifying this five of coins right here is really saying that, you know, this kind of fear can actually have an impact on your body. So make sure you're taking care of yourself when you have struggles that make you afraid. 
Now, conclusions are within reach and be bold, make the first move. That comes out on the star. The star is healing. So you're healing. You're going to see the healing very soon because those conclusions are there. And you're being asked to make the first move somewhere. That could be this uh, temperance as well. Be the first one to make the first move towards your balance. But remember to live your bliss. Live what makes you happy. All right. That's all I have for pile number three with the cube, cube of lapis lazuli. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, you can email me at the email address in the comments and description, and I will get you the information on private readings. For everyone, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number four with this piece of amethyst. Now, let's start by taking a look at your power of love activation. You get peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. So that is beautiful. Now, let's look at your blessings coming out of tarot. You start with the Queen of Wands. Very nice. And the Palace of Cups. The Ten of Wands. The Seven of Wands. And the Ten of Coins. All right. So the Queen of Wands is you stepping into your power. And I think that's happening right now. You creatively, you intuitively, you independently stepping into your power. Now, the Palace of Cups talks about kind of taking some time to reflect so you're going to have some time, maybe some time for meditation, where you really look inside yourself and see what you want emotionally. Now, somewhere in the next couple of months, you're going to have this overwhelming feeling that you get from the Ten of Wands. And you're also going to see the Seven of Wands, where it's like you're fighting for something. But you will win because you have the brightest wand. And then finally, within the next few months, you get this Ten of Coins, which is financial stability. So something that you're fighting for is going to lead you to financial stability. Now, that could be a promotion for some of you, maybe. Let's look at the angels. Okay, so you start with Archangel Raguel, which is the archangel of, like, um, legal things and business and, you know, that sort of thing. And then, oh, and Archangel Michael, which is here protecting you. And you have a third Archangel card, which is telling you to be strong. So the Archangels are coming out in mass for you. This overwhelming feeling may be significant for you with all these Archangels here. But know that you have the Archangels supporting you. So you're going to get to this Ten of Coins. Now your Spirit Guides say Kindness Counts coming out on the Queen of Wands. And express your feelings coming out on the Seven of Wands. Then bring love into the situation for the Palace of Cups. And have faith in your dreams for the Ten of Wands. All right, so kindness counts even when you're stepping into your own power. You need to step into your power but still be of service to others. Then express your feelings. Yeah, where you're fighting and arguing and really striving for getting to this Ten of Coins right here. Express your feelings. Tell people how you really feel. Let that do your work for you. And then have faith in your dreams. Even when you're overwhelmed, even when you're stressed, have faith that your dreams are coming true. Look into your heart first and make sure you know exactly what it is you want. And look with love because you're being told to bring love into the situation. All right, that's all I have for pile number four with the purple amethyst. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you that are interested in private readings, I can be reached at the email address in the comments and description, and I'll send you all the info. For everyone, until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number five with this turquoise comfort stone. Now let's start with your power of love activation. 
you get patience. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. So if you already embody patience, then that's wonderful. If not, this is coming out to say, hey, the universe has got you, but be patient. It's taking a minute. Now, let's start with your tarot and see what blessings you have coming. You start with the fool. So a new beginning. Ooh, and it looks like a love beginning for some of you. Very passionate energy, but with passion comes fighting and stress. All right. So if you're already in your soulmate relationship, then this is the deepening of the relationship, the next step. It looks like a lot of you are not in a soulmate relationship right now, though, because this is the fool at the very start of the beginning. This is you meeting your soulmate, which should happen within the next few months. This king of wands can represent you or your soulmate, but it's a very loving, passionate energy that says, you know, um, that says people are going to be drawn to you. And then you have the fighting, which, you know, any relationship, there's arguments, there's struggles. This could also represent something at work and not necessarily in this relationship. And then you have the five of swords, which is stress at work and at home. So, and or at home. So those two are kind of lessons that you may just need to watch out for. And the thing about tarot is when you see something that you're like, ooh, I don't want to do that, don't do it. You know, if you don't want to have the stress, then don't stress. And I know that sounds easy, or what I'm saying makes it sound like it's easy, and I know it's not. I know it's hard. But, uh, but yeah, decide, you know what, I'm not going to let that get me down, and then don't. Now, for the angels, you got faith coming out on your patience, so you're being asked for faith. And Archangel Gabriel, which is the messenger. So Archangel Gabriel is, you know, kind of verifying that, uh, that yeah, you can totally step out of these two energies if you want to. She's here to support you. Now, follow the golden rule and feel joy in all that you do is what the spirit guides tell you. So as you start this journey that is with your soulmate or leads to your soulmate or is you know progress with your soulmate follow the golden rule and treat your soulmate the way you want to be treated that way you're putting out into the universe what you want to come back and that's what you'll receive back and also feel joy in all you do don't fight you know realize that this is a wonderful blessing for you and stop the fighting and just live in joy now, for the Two of Cups, you get what do you need to release. So, there's something that needs to be released for you to step into this soulmate relationship. And then, for the King of Wands, you get Full Moon in Virgo. You are good enough. So, yeah, for all the Virgos out there that struggle with self-worth, please know that you're good enough. And for anyone who's not a Virgo that still struggles with self-worth, you're more than enough this King of Wands probably represents you. And you are definitely worth desiring. You are worth, you, I mean, just value yourself. And also examine what you need to release to have no baggage when you step into that, that uh, soulmate relationship. All right, that's all I have for pile number five with the Turquoise Comfort Stone. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in private readings, I can be contacted at the email address in the comments and description, and I'll send you all the info. For everyone, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.